Are you old enough to remember the Western serials of the 40s and 50s? Would it surprise you to know that many of the structures and sets for these films still stand today? Pioneer Town is 26 miles north of Palm Springs and was built in 1946 as a backdrop for movie and TV westerns. They chose this site primarily because it was close to Hollywood and they could get the scenes that they wanted instead of going all the way to Mexico or wherever to get the shots, they could get them here. Besides that, the weather is good up here most of the year, so they don't have any difficulty in shooting up here in January sometimes. Of course, movie makers couldn't build a permanent town without a place to house the people. It was called the townhouse. They were built to, to house the extras and some of the people that came up to make movies. Uh, Barbara Stanwyck stayed there, uh, Jocko Mahoney, Gene Autry, uh, Gail Davis, it was just uh, all the stars used to stay at the motel. Other structures built included a sound stage for interior shots, the Red Dog Saloon, and a bowling alley that is still in operation today. You see, in the old days, Roy Rogers loved to get in a few strikes. And then there's Gene Autry, whose work in this town was extensive. You, you know, you figure that Gene Autry made 85 television shows here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he did like 12 motion pictures here. And Gene Autry used to fly his plane up and he, he loved the location. The Old West lives on here in Pioneer Town, not only because of the films and TV shows that were produced here, but because of two Western reenactment groups who entertain folks every weekend. Through their shows, the Pioneer Town Posse and the Gunfighters for Hire keep the Western storytelling alive. It's a practice that would have even made Gene Autry proud. From Pioneer Town, this is Glenn Ross.